Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about file paths in HTML. So I've set up a few things already just to demonstrate the file paths. Uh, first is this uh, Valentine's Day uh, web page, very very simple. Um, it is inside this folder called Valentine's which is on top of, which is on my desktop. And I've also have this other uh, HTML file web page uh, which I will show you later. Um, you'll understand why I have this. So um, inside the Valentine's Day or Valentine's folder, uh, there is another folder where I'm keeping all my pictures and images. It's called images. And uh, I have a whole bunch of images here. Now, in the HTML, uh, what you can do is you can use file paths to uh, link uh, HTML files and uh, pictures and other different sort of files um, without having to put everything in the same folder. Uh, if you do that, if you put everything in the same folder, things will get very, very messy very, very quickly. Uh, and uh, using file paths is a good way to keep things organized. So I've started off this uh, Valentine's HTML uh, with some relative paths to uh, pictures that are in the images uh, folder but also uh, there is one confused.jpg file which is uh, below the same folder as the HTML file. I'm going to quickly finish off this uh, valentines.html uh, by adding a link to a, an HTML file that is in the same folder this one right here called exit.html. So I'm just going to type that in, save it, and open up the, the valentines.html. But uh, before we do that, I realized I made a typo. And um, this confused.jpg file is actually not called jpeg. It's called JP, jpg. So I'm just going to correct that, save it. And now I'm going to open this uh, valentines.html in Safari. Okay, let's just drag that in there, like that, and this is what it looks like. Um, when I click on the I like Valentine's, what's that? Got, what that's going to do is that is going to open up uh, happy.jpg, which is inside the images folder. Uh, this one right here. So I'm just going to do that. Click, Happy Valentine's Day! Yay! Okay, I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with I hate Valentine's. Um, if you hate Valentine's, I'll click on that and that will open up uh, the hate.jpg. So I'm just going to do that now. I hate Valentine's Day. All right, good. So uh, the next link is the I can't choose. Uh, this is interesting because the JPEG is actually not in the images folder, it is in the desktop folder. And that is actually one folder above the Valentine's Day folder or Valentine's folder. And uh, what these two dot dot uh, uh, represent is to have the web page look in the above folder uh, of where the HTML file is. So uh, the HTML file is in the Valentine's folder right here. And the confused JPEG uh, is on my desktop, which is the folder above the Valentine's Day fo Valentine's folder. So, um, in order to link that correctly, I need to put dot dot slash. Right. So, I'm going to go back to the Safari and uh, click on that. And oh, I'm confused. I'm confused. Okay, let's go back. Now, uh, apart from linking pictures you can also link html files the same or the same way and i have with me uh, exit.html which is this file here so uh, when i click on the get me out of here uh, link it will take me to exit.html which looks like this free so there you have it um, file paths a uh, good way to organize all your files uh, especially pictures and images, any sort of media, uh, cascading style sheets, and so on.